today we're gonna make an easy Dutch oven recipe that we made all the time camping when I was a kid. It's gonna be fun, so stay tuned. joining me if we haven't met I'm Holly and our YouTube channel is let's go now adventures and our channel is about all things camping you know whether you tent camp or RV camp our goal is to just help you have a great camping experience so today we are going to be making shepherd's pie now it's also called cottage pie but when I was growing up we called it shepherd pie and it's super easy to make you know if you have seen any of my camping recipes they are super simple. You know, I believe in doing a lot of the prep when you're home and just making it as easy as you can so when you get up camping, you can enjoy camping. So let's go ahead and get started. So what you'll need is some Worcestershire sauce, uh, some cut up vegetables. I've got some celery, some cooked meat already, onions, garlic, beef broth, and tomato sauce. And for the toppings, we've got our mashed potatoes, a little bit of Parmesan, and salt and pepper. Okay, so once again, I already cooked all of my hamburger at home, which is so easy. So I've got two pounds of ground beef. And I've got a full onion that I've already cut up. Whew, that smells strong. I've got a cup of celery. And then I just bought some frozen vegetables. You know, feel free with this recipe if you want to cut up your own. It calls for a cup of carrots, a cup of corn, and a cup of peas. And I thought this was just a little bit easier. So I've got three-fourths cup there, so we're going to use about four cups of this. Actually, those look really good. I'm going to go five. Okay, we're going to use a tablespoon of Worcestershire. And a small can of the tomato paste. We are going to be using about a tablespoon of garlic, I'm sorry, a teaspoon of garlic, just to add that, voila. And then a half a cup of beef broth. So I'm gonna get that all mixed up good. As I'm getting this all mixed up, I've got the coals uh, getting ready over there um, next to the Dutch oven. We're going to be cooking this, or I should say baking this, at 350. So I have 24 coals getting ready. We're going to be putting eight coals on the bottom and then 16 coals on the top. Ooh, that looks yummy. This is gonna be so delicious. Okay, I'm gonna add, oops, I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper. You know, whatever your liking is. Okay, that is looking just perfect. I'm gonna set this aside and let's get our mashed potatoes ready. Now, there's a whole bunch of different ways you can do this. You could take six potatoes and boil them and make homemade mashed potatoes. Guys, I'm all for easy. Uh, so I've just bought the pre-made mashed potatoes and this is going to work out just so simple. Take my spoon. I'm gonna put those in. Get those mashed up really good. And I've got about a half a cup of Parmesan that I'm gonna put in them. That is gonna make the most yummiest mashed potatoes. Can I tell you the Parmesan just, oh, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay, we're gonna add some salt and pepper to this. Mix that Parmesan in really good. Okay, so we are ready to put this in our Dutch oven. I'm gonna get my Dutch oven here. Okay, so take your uh, hamburger mix. Let's get it into the Dutch oven. Ooh, looks so good. Probably because I'm super hungry too. <laughs> 
Okay, then we're going to take our mashed potatoes and just layer those on top. What we want is we want the mashed potatoes to kind of get a little bit crispy. I'm just going to spread those around. And kind of browned on top. It makes kind of like a little bit of a crust, which is so good. You guys, if you've made this before, put it in the comments. I would love to hear how you make your shepherd's pie. Okay, let's add some salt and pepper onto this. And I think our coals over there are just about ready. So we're gonna add the lid, go get the coals on, and I can't wait to show you how yummy and delicious this turns out. So our shepherd's pie actually took an hour and 15 minutes. Now yours may take less, but we are at 8,000 feet. So there's a little bit of different factors that come into play. So just kind of watch as you're cooking it. But this turned out nice and golden brown. Let's take a look. Okay, so look, we've got this beautiful, delicious golden brown and that made the potatoes are actually kind of nice and crunchy and that's what I was going after. So let's dish this up and see what we have. You know, we were basically just warming this up because I'd already pre-cooked the meat. So I was just trying to get a nice golden brown on those potatoes. Oh my goodness, this smells amazing. I can't wait to try it. So I hope maybe that we've given you a few ideas of some fun camping meals that you can make when you're out camping. So thank you so much for watching. Hey, if you got some value out of this video, give us a big thumbs up. We would also love to have you subscribe to our channel. I'm gonna go eat some shepherd's pie, but thank you for joining us and I'll see you on the next adventure. Bye-bye.